Hey guys, it's Steve Huff from Steve Huff Photo. Today I'm here in sunny Hawaii in Honolulu with the Sony RX0. First time I'm using it, it's been out for a little while, but I have yet to have tried it. So I'm gonna give you a few minutes with the RX0 in Hawaii, but first I wanna say it's shockproof, it's waterproof to 33 feet, and if I were to just like hang it over this balcony, let it go, would it survive the crash? Probably not, but anyway, here's a few minutes with the Sony RX0 in Hawaii. So I started the day with the RX0. We were headed to lunch as a group, a uh, group of journalists here checking out these cameras in Hawaii. Gordon Lang from CameraLabs.com was with us and he wanted some coffee, so we stopped to get some coffee. We had to, to walk a while. And here's what happened with that. Hey, I'm here with Gordon. He was in one of my recent videos. You might remember him. And Camera Labs, right? <laughs> there, exactly there right. Are, right. It's the Bald Head Club. So, it's so the way we, to be. We're on our way to lunch, and we're a little late because Gordon had to have a coffee, right? So you see on his website where he says, "Buy me a coffee." That's no joke because this someone guy, actually did buy me a coffee just now. It's really? Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like uh, this guy loves his coffee for real, man. <laughs> Sony table here somewhere? Yes, come over there. Oh, okay. So we were able to get some amazing coffee and we were only 15 minutes late for lunch and everything worked out. Lunch was fantastic. All right, guys, I'm gonna send the RX-0 into the ocean for a swim and we'll see how it does. All right, hey guys, I just got back up to my room. I listened to this uh, audio and looked at the video. And after this uh, RX-0 took a dunk in the ocean, the microphone was muffled, but that's because water got into it, of course. So I let it dry out for about 40 minutes and I'm testing it now to see if the water has dried up and the microphone still works. Uh, clearly, if so, this is an incredible little camera and there are negatives with it and I've only used it for the day. Uh, this is the first time I'm using it. The negatives, because as you can see, I have a GoPro here that I use. Now, the positives is the RX-0 is built better than a GoPro. It's solid, it's like a little metal brick. It's smaller than a GoPro. Um, it's a, the only weaknesses that I can see with it are it's only a 24 millimeter wide lens. I would have liked to have seen it like either an 18 or a 20 because if you're vlogging with it, now there's many purposes for this camera besides vlogging of course. Uh, there's professional use uh, for this. You can link up to 100 RX zeros and uh, control boxes and create some stunning video effects like bullet time and VR and there's studios using the RX-0 for just that and I think there's a, a Sony movie coming out soon that use the A9 and RX-0 to film the movie or, or scenes, I'm not sure exactly. But um, it's 24 millimeter, so it's not the widest angle. Um, also, it's, uh, the, the compartment where the memory card goes in could be sealed a little better in my opinion. It should have a latch and a door that seals shut. It's more like a you flick a switch and it pops off kind of thing and I noticed some sand was in there. Um, but man, this thing is built like a little, a little tank. Um, I have the GoPro right here. So let's see. You can see the difference in quality. But the, uh, you have your record button here, your power button here. The other weakness I found with the RX-0 is the menu system is the same as the RX-100, but on this little LCD, uh, if you're over 40, you're gonna have a hard time reading the small, tiny text. Uh, I think they should have came up with a simplified menu. I think they should have two buttons on top, one for video, one for photo, 
because this does take really nice photos. It's the same sensor as the RX100 Mark IV, except they're using more of the center part of the sensor, so they're only using about 15 megapixels of the sensor. It's a Zeiss lens, it's an F4 design, um, so it's not really meant for low light. Now, I haven't tried it in low light yet, but we're taking it out on a sail tonight, or on a boat, uh, and uh, for sunset, and uh, if it gets dark, I'll, I'll try it and see how it goes. But uh, I'm very interested in the RX-0, mainly because, as you can see here, there's a little belt latch, and I just keep it attached to my belt uh, loop on my shorts, or pants. So it's always with me. You can carry this thing no matter where you go. You can put it on your freaking keychain, and if you have a video or photo opportunity, it's ready to go, and it can take a beating. Um, it's shockproof, waterproof to 33 feet, and uh, it's a beautiful little, little camera uh, that you can use for photos or video or even professional, uh, professional uh, applications. So uh, the RX-0, so far I'm digging it. It's not perfect. Uh, I think the RX-0 Mark II, if they ever come out with one, which they probably will, uh, will have the improvements I look for, but as it is right now, it's a very solid camera, and it's not really, uh, I wouldn't say it's an action camera. I would say it's more of a take anywhere, do anything, video and uh, photo little camera that's built to a professional standard. Um, like I said, I could just hook it up to my belt loop and have it with me every day of the week no matter where I go, and uh, or keychain, and uh, use it when the situation arises. All right, so later in the day, it was time to head down for a boat ride, and uh, I was gonna take the RX-0 uh, along with a little Rode Video Micro, and uh, let's see how it did. All right, guys, we're getting ready to head down to a boat to shoot the sunset with the A6500 and the 18-135. to So uh, I'm also bringing along the RX-0, which is what I'm filming this with because I want to test it out as a vlogging camera. So I have it on a little stick right here with a little um, video micro or, or whatever it's called, micro go or micro, and it's plugged into the mic input of the RX-0 because it does allow for a mic input even though the onboard mic is really, really good. So uh, if, I, if I dump this thing in any more water, I'll be sure to take it off of this and seal it back up. But let's head out to the boat and see what we can get into. weather here in Hawaii, the weather here in Hawaii is insanely beautiful. Uh, like 80 degrees year round and it's not so humid. I thought it was going to be humid. It's not so bad. So on the boat we go, we arrive. There was, a few, you know, six to eight of us all together here. Uh, some great people that I've come to know and become friends with over the years on these media trips when we try out cameras. So I had the RX-0 with a wide-angle adapter on, uh, and I wanted to see how it would go, right? So I was planning on filming our time on the boat. Okay, we're on a boat. Uh, it's later in the day, and uh, we're gonna go, what are we, a two-hour ride, I think? We're gonna have to dial right here. Hey, Gordon's they, back. <laughs> they're, gonna, they're gonna throw us overboard for our bad reviews. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a wide angle adapter on the RX-0, uh, so we're testing it out to see how it goes. Pretty cool. So it was time to go down and get a beverage, and they had a bunch of beer and water, so I went down to go get a beer, um, which ended up being a mistake, even though I only drank a quarter of it. Uh, I tried one of the local brews, it was called Primo, which was okay. Uh, you know, I'm a craft beer guy, but Primo was okay. And uh, as we rode the boat, uh, I ended up getting seasick, not from the alcohol, but from the waves and the motion, even though I took some Dramamine. So uh, I had to put the camera down and lay down on the boat here, and I, I was trying to relax, and I couldn't shoot anymore because I just felt sick. So at the end of the night, I went back to my hotel room. Uh, and uh, just kind of crashed and went to sleep. Overall, the RX-0 is a pretty cool camera, guys. It's not perfect. Uh, I would say uh, I would love to see a, quite a few improvements in a Mark II version. Um, and, and there's numerous uh, things, and I've only used it for a day. Some people would want 4K. 
Um, I've mentioned the two separate buttons for photo and video. Um, the display is hard to read because the menu is so tiny. So if you have, you know, if you're a little bit older and your vision's going, it's hard to see that menu. Um, and also it can get a little confusing in the menu in operation. It's not like a simple action cam because this camera is also meant for pro work and studios and filmmaking as B-roll or special, you know, when you link them all together and do that bullet time effect, it's pretty remarkable. But it's not perfect. This is more like my first look, first try with the RX-0. But my first try and first look, I really enjoyed the camera. Now it comes in at $699, but it's built like a brick. It's built on another level from a GoPro. Um, but the lens is not very wide, so using that wide angle adapter really worked out uh, well. I thought it looked great and adding the mic sounded great. Um, I'll probably update on this camera once I use it more, if I get a chance to use it more, and uh, I'll dig in a little deeper. But thanks for watching. This is Steve at stevehuffphoto.com.